today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this. It's Pelier today and let's begin. And we're going to start off by making a text. Make it say whatever you guys want. I'm going to type plasma for my text. After that, you can make the text bigger to something like this here. Looks good. Then go to align and then align horizontally and then align vertically. And on the text, we're going to be adding wave warp. And for the settings here, we're going to be changing the wave width to 400 and the wave speed to 0 0.5. And that should be good. After that, you're going to be making a solid layer. Now I'm going to be using the sapphire plugin here to make some plasma waves here. The effect is called texture plasma. It's going to be looking something like this here. And we're basically going to adjust some settings here. The noise frequency is going to be 0.7. And the layers is going to be 23. And the threshold is going to be 0. Brightness is 2. And the glow brightness to 1. We're making it very bright now. And that's just because we're going to be using it as a texture. And we need to have a very strong contrast on the texture. In order for the texture to work well and look better. So after that you're going to be adding curves. For the curves here we're going to make a shape like this here and then you're going to be duplicating the curves effect there so control d and uh, after that we're going to be changing the uh, track mat option here to luma mat this is how it's going to look now after that you're going to be pre-composing the layers here pre-compose you're going to be duplicating this pre-composition here so control d after that, we're going to be adding blob lice. Open up a blobbiness, change the property to alpha, and that should be good. After that, we're going to be adding CC glass. And here, open up surface, change the property to alpha, the softness to 8.5, the height to 100, and the displacement to zero. After that, we're going to be adding four color gradient. And I'm going to be using this pink purple color here on all the color positions. After that, change the blending mode to color. We're going to be pre-composing these two layers again. Now we're going to be making a new solid layer. Pre-compose it and open the layer up. Here we're going to be adding texture plasma again. And we can start off by changing the noise seed to something else. Something random. Set the layers to 19. Threshold to 0 0.8. And then change the glow color to pink here. After that, we're going to be adding warp. Change the warp style to fisheye and then the bend to minus 100. After that we're going to go up to the ellipse tool here. And then we're going to make a circle as a mask here on the layer. So mark the layer, hold shift and then drag a circle here. Something like that looks good. After that open up the layer, mask and then set the mask feather to 500. And then you're going to be inverting the mask. So now you will get this kind of look here. Looks pretty pretty good in my opinion. After that we are done with this composition so you can go back to your main composition and here we're going to be adding some effects to our text layer here. We're going to start off by adding chromatic aberration and here we're going to set the master distortion to 1.24 and the master scale to 0 and the lens distortion to 100. After that set the flatten to 55. After that, add deep glow, set the radius to 750, exposure to 0.33, and check on malt. After that, pre-compose these layers, and now we're going to add a adjustment layer, so you're going to press Ctrl Alt Y. Here add chromatic aberration again, set the master distortion to 1.24 as before, master scale to 0, lens distortion to 100, and that should be good. After that we're going to make a new adjustment layer, Control alt y Here we're going to be adding cartoon, set the threshold to 5, and the width to 0 0.5. After that we're going to be adding deep glow, radius set it to 750, exposure 0 0.5, smooth blending, and then unmalt. After that we're going to be adding one more adjustment layer, so Control alt y Here we're going to be adding deep glow again, and set the radius to 750, exposure 0 0.33. This is how the original text is going to look like at the end. It looks pretty pretty clean in my opinion, but if you guys want to spice it up a little bit more, you could use our editing packs and I'm going to be using our TV glitch pack V2 and if you guys have the pack, use the third effect. So by using our pack you will get a result like this here. I think it looks absolutely incredible and if you guys 
want to get the same result check out our website editingvisuals.com and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe check out our social medias don't forget to join our discord server and i will see you guys soon take care and have a nice day